How's it going designers? It's Dream Designers here and today I'll be giving you a tutorial of Blender GIS. And so there's going to be three parts to this video. First one is just going to go over how to download everything. And second part is going to go over how to actually import the city into Blender. And the third part is for other designers and it's going to show y'all how to export uh, the correct 3D file into other software such as SketchUp, Revit, or Rhino. All right, so in order to download these things, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and go to blender.org or I will have both of these links down below in the bio and these are the only links that you will need and both of them are completely free and completely accessible. So for Blender, you just wanna go ahead, click that and if you're downloading in Windows, click this. Anything else, you're gonna go ahead and click that and it's a quick and easy download. And after you've done that, we're gonna go ahead and download this code right here. And again, I would have this link down below. Once you get into this page, you're just gonna click this little green button right here and download the zip file. And that's about it. Okay, so once you've downloaded both of these things, you're gonna wanna go ahead and open up Blender. And we're gonna go ahead and open a new general file up. And to your left, uh, on this edit button, click on it and go all the way down to preferences. And so what we're doing here is we're just downloading the code into Blender. And so we're gonna go to add-ons, click on this little category, and on your top right, you're gonna see this install and add-on button. Go ahead and click that and locate wherever you've downloaded your zip file. Mine is in my desktop. And it's as easy as that, but one thing you wanna do is click this check button and then click this drop down menu button and just make sure that uh, your cache folder is going somewhere in your computer and so that all your things can just be caching into this folder and you can choose whatever folder in your computer and once you've done that just exit out of that and you'll see this GIS button right here and that's the end of the first part you've downloaded successfully Blender GIS into Blender. All right, so now for part two, you can see that you downloaded GIS successfully if you see this tab right here, and we're actually gonna go ahead and click on this tab. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on Web Geodata and click on the first one, Base Map. And you can go ahead and keep these settings, just go ahead and click OK. And it's gonna bring up this base map of the world, and you click G on our keyboard, and it will bring up this search bar. And so we're gonna go ahead and search for New York City and I suggest starting off with a zoom level, anything between 16 to 20. And so we're gonna go ahead and do 17. And this is gonna bring you right to the smack center of New York City or whatever your site is. And so you can use a plus and minus buttons on your keyboard to zoom in and out, but realize that if you zoom out, anything below level 15 is probably gonna be a high urban area. So this means that you're going to need a very hefty computer if you would like to download an area as big as this. If not, it might crash. That is why I suggest zoom levels 16 through 20. It's usually the best zoom levels. And so I'm going to go ahead and choose this area of New York City. And I like the zoom level it's at. So once we've chose the correct area, a quick tip is you're going to want to choose L on your keyboard and this locks your screen. So now you can't move from this area. You have this area secured and locked. And the benefits of this is now you can go up to zoom level 20. As you can see in your top left screen, it shows your zoom level. So we're gonna go ahead and click the plus button four times until we reach zoom level 20. And what this does is it's going to download all the context of this site all the buildings and the landscape at the zoom level of 20 instead of 16. So now you get a much cleaner and better resolution 3D model than you would at zoom level 16. And this might take a while to download. Um, as you can see here, it says building mosaic. Uh, it's gonna take a few minutes. So once that's done, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys how to continue. All right guys, so now that that's finished downloading, uh, we have all our context here. We can go ahead and click E on our keyboard. This might also take some time, guys. Bear with me. And so as you can see now, uh, what it did is it, it exported this base map onto Blender. And so you can kind of 3D view this real quick. Uh, it's nothing but a 2D graph. Um, 
but now we can what we can do off of this is build off of it so back to you're going to click on web geodata get elevation go to marine click ok and you should see this map now has your section lines on every side it's pretty neat and now to add the most important values of this map we can go to web geodata again and instead of get elevation go to get osm this time and you're going to want to select any one of these that you would want to represent or show in an elevational view in your map so you can also hold shift in order to select multiple of these and the most important part of this is clicking and checking this box elevation from object it's going to get everything from google satellite click ok and this might take a while to download everything onto the base map but this is the most important part of the video and this is how you get your 3d city imported into blender and so i'll be right back once all of this is downloaded all right designers so now for part three you can see we have our model here and we're going to go ahead and export this into other software such as rhino sketchup and revit and so we can go ahead and highlight everything that we're going to want to export and go up to the file tab all the way in your top left click on it and then go ahead down to export and you're going to see a variety of options here and so my top three options for you is first starting off with fbx is a really good file option and to import in other 3d softwares this is the best in my opinion uh, to work with all other softwares and an alternative to this would be the obj this object file also works very well with other softwares such as sketchup revit and rhino and if you're looking forward to 3d printing this or the landscape i would definitely suggest going for an stl file and then putting this into a printing software and you should be able to get a 3d print of this if you would like but for right now um for the video i'm going to show you the purpose of fbx and we're going to be using the rhino software and i will show you an example of how it looks imported in it so we're going to go ahead and just uh, name this save this into our desktop export it and we're going to go ahead and open up rhino And I'll be right back once this is opened up. All right, so now that it's opened up, we're gonna go ahead and click on import. And again, this works with Revit and SketchUp. As a designer, I just use Rhino a lot for visualization and I can show you a few tips and tricks, what you can do after you import this. Go ahead and click yes. Again, you can scale this either in Rhino or in Blender if you would like. Um, it is not to scale usually uh, when you import it into other softwares, but you can always scale it the easiest way, as I said, is usually the width of streets. And so now we can go ahead and click on a rendered view. I'm going to go ahead and click perspective also, and I'll be right back once all of this loads. All right, so now you can see here in the perspective view, we can go into it and we can see exactly how this is going to look like imported into another software almost looks exactly the same but now with these softwares you can create sections or even elevations of anything you would like and you can even change the display style and the view so it can be an isometric view if you would like and for example here we can go to blue arctic a different display style click on this satellite map change the display view to perspective or rendered And you're going to see the difference of how this looks like in this software and in blender and you can see in this software also in rhino uh you have all these outlines you can change the look of that uh the color of any of the buildings color of the streets all of it is in your layers tab also and so it's a really essential tool also another good thing is that all the buildings come in its own layer all the streets come in its own layers and the image itself comes in its own layer. And you can also have the image as a background for visualization. Or if you would like to just have simply the 3D models of streets and buildings, you can always delete this background also. So I'll be right back once this loads up again. Okay, just a few seconds, but yeah, it definitely loaded up. And now you can see, um, you can see also the detail of it, very detailed. And so that's basically it guys. And that is how to import and export 3D city models into Blender and out of Blender and into the shop. Puzzles. Perfect.